Life is almost back to normal and people seem to have forgotten about the void COVID-19 outbreak created. Family and loved ones can be physically seen and touched instead of showing affections on mere phones. The echoes of sounds resonates from diverse media and merges to form sweet harmony that makes the world feel alive again. In the early part of last winter, COVID-19 intensified the realness of silence, although it was part of everyday life. Cities and schools were locked down with no sound of human voices, except the chirps of birds. The silence during the epidemic was overwhelming, especially for students who stayed on campus during the Chinese holidays. Wearing a nose mask, washing your hands, staying indoors, social distancing amongst others became a very significant part of normal everyday life, with each day living memories in the lives of students in China. Hey, your mouth. Okay. Even though wearing of nose masks was kind of normal for us, uh, during the pandemic, it became very intensive. Because everywhere you go, you need to wear nose masks. You enter a shop, you need to wear nose masks. You go outside on the field, everywhere you need to wear nose masks. Sometimes, when we're even going, we forget. Just at the entrance, the security man tells you, hey, your nose masks. You have to rush, come back to the room, get your nose masks, and go back. Which was kind of like, I don't want to say abnormal, but it became abnormal. Seriously, during the pandemic, it was, um, it was a challenge, but I think things are better now. And we are very happy that things are okay now. We could not go outside. And then I woke up in the morning and performed my prayers and find something for it and then no. read. Those days, very hard for human beings. So this time, best of luck. So in February, when the COVID-19 broke out, uh, it really struck us all by shock. And we sent out questionnaires to every and every single international students all over the world to see how they are and uh, their location, their, their health status and their travel history, something like that. And uh, in response, we can have a better planning on how to take care of them, even they are outside China. And uh, everyone, every day, because people are anxious, people don't know what is going on uh, because of the epidemic, every day we can receive hundreds of emails, more than 100 emails every day. Uh, it, is, it was hard also for us, and, but we tried our best to cope with it. So it wasn't really an easy period, but at the end of the day, we can all look back and laugh and smile. Uh, then, you know, people had to like contact me because I served as a bridge. Uh, I served as a bridge between the International Student Office and students. Okay, well, Ah, okay. uh, uh, so many times I had to re uh, respond to people's requests, suggestions, and you know, in order to make life easier for everyone. And to be honest, people really cooperated. Students on and off campus with all these COVID nineteen preventive measures, they really, really cooperated. And thanks to the university, we had some activities uh, for students. We we had a 
something like a sports activities where you know we had basketball we had some culture uh, chinese culture artifacts uh, cutting of papers and all this so it was actually in total a good thing but then it was not really easy but everyone cooperated and by now we are getting better and we hope for a better life after all this period Во время того, как началась эта пандемия, у меня не было возможности уехать в Россию обратно, и поэтому я осталась заперта в университете. Были очень сложные времена, и нам не было возможности никуда выйти. И единственное, что оставалось, это сидеть в заперти постоянно. И единственная возможность, куда это можно было выйти, это гулять по кампусу. Только так мы себя и развлекали. Потом, когда узнали, что это все все усложняется и становится все более серьезно, и мы не можем вернуться в класс и начать наши уроки, мы можем только сидеть на онлайн, на дистанционном обучении. Было очень сложно поначалу. Но потом, как учителя и мы, все ученики, собрались силами и сделали наш класс намного-намного лучше. И на данный момент пусть это и дистанционное обучение, но а, наши классы проходят так же весело, как это было и не на дистанционном управлении. To cope with the COVID-19, especially to take care of the students, especially inside the campus, we distributed uh, the necessities and the things they need to, uh, to them, like the indoor exercise equipment, the sanitizers, face masks, snacks and fruits and letters to encourage them. And it is not sent just to students inside China, it is also sent to all over the world. Students uh, in UK, in Nigeria and many other countries have received it and sent, our, sent us their love. There is still hope amidst it all, because this experience has proven solidarity among humanity, even in this fearful time. And it is clear that as the world is gradually reaching a positive message, it will continue to be a better place and peace will reign on the earth again. The future is still promising. <laughs>